Hello. Uh, here's some news about um, Kiali and the new feature that we have, which is called in graph tracing. So, as you can guess, it will be about tracing and a graph. So, Kiali is already able to show traces with, for, from the application menu, for instance, where you can select an application and you get, you get here the traces tab. Um, now, from the graph, we wanted to show a trace on top of the graph. As you know, in Jaeger, probably you know this UI already. Uh, Jaeger allows you to, to show traces. Um, so here, for instance, I'm searching for a list of traces for a given service. I can click on a trace and I see here this waterfall view where I get all the sequence of the events. So this view is really good to, to understand the sequence of the events. And I can see here the tags associated. And the new view that we are suggesting in Kiali is on top of the graph. So the idea is to correlate the topo topology with a trace. So for instance, when I click on ball, I got here. So I need to click on a service node. This is the one with a triangle shape. So I've seen there's in the side panel here this new tab traces and when I click on it I get a list of the the latest traces that were generated for that service so I can see a lot of them um, I have the number of spans and the full duration of the of the trace the few they were all generated a few seconds ago because my application it generates a lot and uh, yeah, some of them are just two spans, and this one, for instance, is very big. It's fifty-three spans. Uh, so if I click, let's click on a small one for for to begin with. So here, I've got that trace shown on the graph. So we can see that the trace started from the AI. So AI is the um, is the workload that is that is like a player so this is a football game uh, application and the AI are the players the ball is a microservice for the ball and there's the stadium and there's the UI so here the, the local um, player did something with the ball and yeah that's pretty much all but I got some details here I know that the operation is called try get and there's the duration the full duration of the trace and there is the spans details here. So if I click, for instance, here, I've got this uh, small animation that helps to locate quickly in the graph where is that workload. And uh, so the AI locals work uh, workload were uh, getting this URL from ball. Try get so presumably to get the ball, and it returned um, OK status within one and uh, one milliseconds so i can click on other um, other nodes from the graph within the same trace and i will see here the panel changing because so it's still the same trace but spans here the details of the spans are changing because it shows only the spans related to what i've clicked on so let's select uh, perhaps a bigger trace. So I need to go back to the triangles, to the service, to see that traces tab again always. And if I select a bigger one here, I will have a trace that also involves the stadium. So what happens basically in my application is that the player is going to try to catch the ball and perhaps he's going to shoot at the ball and the ball is going to bounce on the stadium uh, border because it's a special stadium. It has border and the ball bounces on it. So I can see this here. I can see that first I have a try get operation here. And then there is a shoot operation. So he, he succeeded in, in getting the ball and he shoot at it. And then if I click on the ball. I have more, many more spans here because um, there is this. This kind of spans are the style. By the way, the, 
style needs to be um, fixed. There is a problem of style, but yeah, I, this uh, kind of spans are user generated. They are generated from the application, not they are not injected by the Envoy sidecar. So that's why it shows less information, but still I can I can see the operation name when it started relative to the beginning of the trace and the duration of that span. Um, then I can I can see that there's an operation check bounce because the ball within its movement is uh, checking regularly if it reaches the borders of the stadium. And so there is several check bounds here. And uh, well, I don't know if here in that particular large trace there will be a goal, but there is also a, a specific span that is generated when the player goals. So that's basically it for what we can see in, into the graph. There's at the end a, bo a button also to, to go to the tracing within Kiali, which is um, similar to this link also, which but this link will bring you directly to the um, to the trace that I had selected. So this view is more interesting for have for having a um, more detailed search because I can search differently. I, I have this search option that I don't have on the graph. And also to see the span details here, for instance, I can see some tags associated with the span. Uh, if I go back to the graph, here, so let's select again this. I, I can also directly jump to the waterfall view in Jaeger. So this view is very interesting also. It's complementary, I think. Mm. Yeah, Jaeger has a problem. Basically, it's this view that I show at the beginning. The same view here. I think I need to restart Jaeger, maybe. So that's basically it. Um, yeah, so you, we, we can continue to navigate and uh, we can just click outside. When I select something that is out of the trace, it will deselect the trace and it will it will clear the selection but I can still go back here and select something and uh, yeah that's it thank you for listening